Welcome back and thank you for your interest in the high school student schedule for remote instruction. Now that you have a better understanding of what remote instruction is in Dickinson ISD, let's talk about the high school remote instruction schedule for students. But before we do, I want to recap a couple of important dates you will want to remember. The first is August 24th. This is the first day of school for students. All students will have remote instruction for the first three weeks. <clears throat> student school day will be from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. On September 14th, all students who selected face-to-face -face instruction will begin on campus. Face-to-face -face instruction will follow normal campus hours, and students who selected remote instruction will revert to regular campus school hours and the regular campus schedule. Let's look at the schedule for high school students. All 9th through 12th grade students will follow their school day schedule. Social and emotional time will be in the AM as well as check-ins. The amount of synchronous instructional time will be varied within each course as necessary and appropriate for the content. Students will receive a weekly schedule that shows synchronous and asynchronous components and due dates. The academic block will include an introduction to a new topic and or concept, synchronous instruction at a posted time, synchronous support by teachers and interventionists in small groups or individual meetings, asynchronous playlists that include videos, readings, and opportunities for application, asynchronous choice boards for exploration, such as choosing to make an analog poster project using technology for research, or reading a book excerpt and pulling out key concepts or virtual collaborative documents where each student looks up different information and fills in their findings. Ongoing assessments, formative and summative, that will inform instruction also will be part of the academic school day. This is the high school sample remote learning schedule. The high school schedule is built with 50 minute periods. Students rotate between these 50 minute periods for each of their courses. This school day from 8 to 8.30 includes a break, lunch, student support, and time for check-in by the teacher. On Monday, September 14th, the remote instruction student schedule will change from the one I just discussed to mirror the regular campus schedule. High school students' regular instructional day is 7.05 a.m. to 7.35 p.m. You will need to contact the campus for your child's detailed daily schedule. You may be wondering what grading will be like for students who selected remote instruction. Grading for all students, remote instruction and face-to-face -face will follow the district's grading procedures. There will be no difference in grading between the two models of instruction. You may also be wondering how remote instruction students will take quizzes, tests, local district assessments, and state assessments. There are specific assessments that will require students to go to his or her assigned campus. The assessments that the student would need to take would be beginning of the year, middle of the year, and end of the year map, CBAs, unit tests as required by teachers, pre-star benchmarks, state assessments such as the STAR EOC and TELPASS, and any certification tests the student would need to take. There will also be times when a remote instruction student will need to go to the campus to engage in specific activities before, during, or after the school day. These are performance-based assessments such as high school fine arts, STEM at all secondary grade levels, CTE and ROTC, STEM courses, all pre-AP courses, all AP courses, collegiate high school courses, on-ramps, UT courses, and extracurricular activities such as fine arts, athletics, robotics, and athletic trainer. Before we close, I want to remind you that once a selection is made and the school year begins, exit from remote instruction and return to face-to-face -face instruction will only be permitted at the end of a nine-week period. For example, the end of the first nine weeks, the end of the first semester, or the end of the third nine weeks. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and learn about your child's remote instruction schedule. 
Should you have further questions, please know we are here for you and feel free to contact your child's school or the educational services team at 281-229-6000. Have an awesome 2020-2021 school year.